The origin of Henry Krill's powers is something that there are a lot of questions surrounding. And with him being the extremely powerful entity that he is, and once being in human form and living amongst the real world when he was younger, utilizing his powers on the people that were part of his family, I thought I'd take a look and see if we could find out just how Henry Creel came to adopt his powers all of those years ago. So let's get into it. Here is the answer to how Henry Creel got his powers in Stranger Things. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Henry Creel was born in 1947 to Victor Creel and his mother Virginia Creel outside of Hawkins. In 1959, the family located to Hawkins after inheriting some money from a family member that had passed away. It was here, where once the money was utilized to purchase the Creel house in Hawkins, that Henry started to notice that he had special abilities and powers that he previously didn't realize that he had. Henry was always described as a reserved child that didn't quite fit into school or a group of friends at the time. Hence why the move to Hawkins for the family felt like the right thing to do. However, this was where everything took a dark turn. With them relocating to Hawkins, there was no specific time frame or moment in time that signified the passing of the powers over to Henry, which to me symbolizes Henry would have been born with the powers, but was just merely not aware that he held them. We saw that he had these abilities from an early point of moving to the house, but he trained himself to be able to develop them and become stronger. Henry was born with telekinesis, which allowed him to control objects in the real world with his mind, and he was also born with telepathy. They were the two main abilities that he held. Telepathy was a power that he had as a young child, and also carried with him into his adulthood, and even when he was in the form of Vecna, we saw him train the power over and over, and utilize it on his family on multiple occasions, entering their minds and showing them their worst nightmares and fears whilst adopting the ability to show them illusions. He wanted to relive their worst nightmares, a form of mental torture. For example, he used it on his father, showing him when he shelled the house when it was full of innocent civilians, and also his mother and sister on several different occasions. We also saw him practicing his telekinesis by utilizing it on animals that he would catch himself. However, we did see though, when he entered the Upside Down, his powers grew stronger and stronger, and he did utilize his pre-existing powers to create and adopt some new ones. We saw that he was able to project the real world into his mind, which is similar to what Eleven can do. Just like when Eleven enters the void and locates people, he was able to do the exact same thing and get a view of what was going on in surrounding locations and the real world in Hawkins, getting glimpses of what people were doing and understanding their every move. Another power that he was able to develop after entering the Upside Down was the ability to be able to heal himself, something he previously was not able to do prior to entering the world below. We've seen that when he was impacted by force, he was able to regenerate the injury that occurred. These additional powers that he adopted likely came from when he molded the darkness inside of the Upside Down, and when he was struck with the bolts when he was banished there. He harnesses the darkness that he molded into the Mind Flayer and utilizes it to his advantage allowing him to be far stronger than what he was when he was just a human in the real world. Unlike Eleven and all of the other numbers that came after him, Henry or any of his family were not part of a project where the mothers were part of the MKUltra experiments. Henry was merely born with the powers, hence why I believe he was so much more powerful than any of the others that we've seen since him. He is number one, and there's a reason for that, because he was the first, and was essentially the reason that many numbers came after him. The powers always lied within the character. They were born with him. It was only through the practice that he put upon himself and also the entering of the Upside Down where he became far more powerful and adopted some new abilities. With Vecna being the only person that was truly born with the powers when he was Henry, there has been speculation about Eleven's mother Terry holding powers naturally as well, as we've also seen her express abilities when she was visited in a previous season of the show. However, she did participate in the program, which could potentially be the reason as to why she holds some powers. Although not intentional, it could have been like a side effect. But if this is not the case, and she, just like Henry, was born with special abilities, that could potentially be the reason as to why Eleven was always so much more powerful than the others in the facility, and was able to compete with Vecna in the battles, due to the fact that it is within her in a natural form. But until it's 100% confirmed if that's the case, we'll just have to believe that Henry is the only character that was truly born with his powers, and that's the reason as to why he's so powerful 
and how he ended up with them. So, there you have it, how Henry Creel got his powers. If you want to see more videos on Stranger Things such as Volume 1 and Volume 2 Endings Explained, Character Breakdowns, or Theories and Predictions, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review next, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. Do you think Eleven will beat Vecna in Season 5? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.